Happy Tuesday, Bears. In case you missed it, we posted our talent show recap on Instagram yesterday, so be sure to check it out. Coming up on this show, we preview Bears sports for the first half of the week and cover lots of club news. I'm Autry Rosendahl. And I'm Veronica Silva. Today is Tuesday, October 4th, and Good Morning John Burrow starts right now. Let's start strong with our club news. Portraits of Kindness meets today in room 6203. Their mission is to create a kinder world through art. You can also join Art Club next door in room 6204. Tomorrow at lunch. Basic supplies will be available, but you can also bring something specific if you want to use it for artwork. Teen Court meets today after school in the library. And finally, the Woodworking Club meets today at lunch in room 6105. Jumping over to our other programs on campus, the IMA is hosting a free music concert titled Life and Death this Thursday at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. There is no charge, but donations are welcome. Look for the QR code on flyers around campus for your opportunity to give. Come out and support our bands this week. We have Eric here today to recap a couple of highlights from last week and preview the start of this week. Here's more. What's up Bears? This is Eric Eschler and I've got your latest sports update. All our sports are in league play, so let's get started. First, congrats to football, who is now 5-1 with their league win against CV. Shout out to boys Frosh Soft Cross Country, who placed second over the weekend in the Bellarmine Sacred Heart Invitational. Girls Volleyball is taking on Arcadia tomorrow on the road. Varsity plays at 3.30, JV plays at 4.45. Boys Water Polo is home today against Glendale, and Varsity starts at 3.30, and JV plays at 4.45. Girls Tennis has a busy week today with they play against Hoover. Varsity is at home at 3.30, JV is away at 3.30. Tennis turns around tomorrow with matches against Arcadia. Varsity will be home while JV is on the road. That's all for me. We will be back later this week with more sports and our next interview. Thanks, Eric. Seniors, remember senior portraits are due by November 1st. If you do not have one, you won't be in the yearbook. Make your appointment with White Studios today. Check the flyers or talk to Mrs. Clark if you have any questions. Speaking of the yearbook, if you have not pre-ordered your yearbook, make sure to do it ASAP. You can order on the JBHS app or website as well as in the student store. Seniors, you should have received your graduation packet from Jostens in the mail. If you have not gotten this packet, check the flyers in your social studies classroom or at the athletics and activities counter in the main office. In other senior news, the FAFSA and CSU application window is now open and your college peer mentors are here to help. This Thursday, they will be presenting on all things Cal State during AE in room 1207. If you're looking for some volunteer hours, Roosevelt is hosting their annual Harry Potter night this Friday and is looking for volunteers. To find out more about this opportunity and to sign up, check our Instagram bio for the sign up website. AP exams are now on sale in the student store and on the web store for $97. Exams will be available for purchase until November 10th, and students must be signed up for the AP classroom before they can purchase. If you need to buy your exam for a reduced rate, please see Mr. Hubble in the main office. That's all for today's show. Remember to buy your homecoming tickets this week. Prices are now $40 with an ASB card and $45 without. We'll be back on Thursday with more Bears news. I'm Veronica Silva. And I'm Autry Rosendahl. Have a great day, JBHS. And happy early birthday to GMJB reporter Alex Hershey.